Hello everybody, today I'm going to share with you the iMac late 2009, and we'll go ahead and see how well it's holding up here in 2018. So I've had this machine for a couple of years now, and it's been used as our whole home computer. We haven't had any problems with it at all, and it's working fantastic to this very day. Now we've used it for everything from homework, you know, writing a document, Excel. We've used it for coding, some light video editing, photo editing, browsing the web, playing a casual video game. We've thrown a lot at this machine here at college, and it's worked very well for us. And we're very pleased with it. We'll probably keep it here for many years to come, actually. But anyway, that's beside the point. Let's go ahead and take a look at the specs of this machine. So inside, we have a Intel Core 2 Duo running at 3.06 GHz. We have a 500 GB classic hard drive. It's not an SSD. 8 GB of DDR3 memory. NVIDIA GeForce 9400M graphics with 256 MB of video memory for it there. And a 21 and a half inch screen. I'm trying to think if there's any other specs that I may have forgotten. Oh yes, on the side of the machine there is a super drive so you can burn DVDs and CDs on this machine. So that's a nice little addition that obviously newer iMacs don't have. We haven't used that feature too much, but it's still nice to have around in case we ever want to use it. So, let's go ahead and take a look around the machine. Starting at the front of the machine on the top, we will find a microphone, and on the front of the screen there, we can also see the 480p iSight camera. On the right hand side of the machine, we will find our super drive in addition to an SD card slot, which is actually quite convenient. I know the newer iMacs have it on the back where the ports are, which is a little harder to get to. If you were to reach your hand around the right hand side of the machine on the back, we will find the ports. Going from left to right, we have audio out or headphone. We have audio in, four USB 2.0 ports, Firewire 800, mini display for video out, and ethernet. If we look under the stand, on the top you'll find ventilation, in the middle you'll find where we plug in our power cord, and on the bottom you can find a Kensington lock port. Finally, on the back left hand side, we will find our power button. On the bottom of the machine, in the middle, we will find the door for accessing the RAM. We can insert up to four sticks of laptop style DDR3 memory inside, and on either side of that access door we have our stereo speakers, which actually sound quite good. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn the machine on. Here we go. Now as it turns on here, let me go ahead and focus the screen once the Apple logo comes up. So that hopefully it doesn't keep refocusing on you because that's not too fun. It doesn't really look too good. Anyway, this particular machine is running Mac OS 10.13.4 High Sierra. Now, at the making of this video, it is unknown what the next name or version of macOS will be. I'm sure it'll be 1014, but the name of it is currently unknown. Like, again, as the making of this video, I have no idea um, what the name of the Mac's next macOS is. However, I have a feeling that it may get dropped, this particular machine, and get stuck here at High Sierra. Um, just because of the new advancements that are needed with the newer versions of Mac OS. However, if they do support this old Mac, that would be fantastic. But Mac OS High Sierra has been a great operating system on this computer. I haven't had any issues with it at all. Anyway, the connectivity of this computer, we can connect to modern Wi-Fi networks. That is not a problem. There's absolutely zero issue connecting to the networks of today, this computer isn't old enough to have any problems, so that's real nice. Um, so you can either use the Wi-Fi or the Ethernet, whatever you prefer. So let me just check here and make sure that we're not refocusing all the time, and we're not. I don't use a screen recorder, and that's because I don't really want to slow down any aspect of the computer while I'm sharing it with you. So that's why I'm just recording the screen. So let's go ahead and take a look at about this Mac so we can confirm some of the specs that I said earlier. We can see we are running Mac OS High Sierra 10.13.4 and all the specs that I previously mentioned. We can see the display of the computer here. Again, it is 1080p, which is nice. We can see the storage is the 500 gigabyte original hard drive. 
We have eight gigabytes of memory, two gigabyte sticks installed currently. I believe I've heard some people have gone up to 32, maybe 64, I'm not quite sure, but eight gigabytes has been a very nice amount for this machine. Then of course we have support and service as well. Now you may notice there's like a black area or a dark area right here and that's just reflections of the items behind me. That's not part of the actual, you know, screen. So let's go ahead and take a look at the internet since that's a pretty important part of everyday life nowadays. So obviously being the most up-to-date version of macOS at the making of this video, all versions of Safari, Firefox, uh, Chrome, and Opera are up-to-date. They're up-to-date and fully supported. So we'll go ahead and take a look at Safari, since that is what comes default with macOS. Let's go ahead and go to a basic website here. And there we go. Now if I scroll real fast, you can see everything loads just fine. There's no need for it to try to catch up or reload anything. So it works very well. We can also stream any type of video service on this computer too. We, the um, me and my friends that have used this machine, haven't had any problems streaming 1080p video on this machine or watching it here on YouTube. And you can see, for example, the advertisement at the top of the screen here on YouTube is running just fine. Now, usually ads seem to run a little better than the video sometimes, but it gives you a little bit of an example just showing that YouTube here plays absolutely fine without any issues. Now probably if you were going to play, you know, 4K video, that's probably a little much for this computer, but 1080p is still absolutely fine. So either using YouTube or Netflix or whatever streaming service you'd like to use, Twitch, they all have streamed and ran on this computer absolutely fine without any issues at all. And that's across all of these web browsers. We haven't had any problems using any of them to stream what we'd like. Obviously we have the most up-to-date version of iTunes again with the most up-to-date version of macOS at the making of this video. Spotify works just fine. Um, Photoshop, this is the CS5 um, version. Now I have many different versions of Photoshop but that's the version that I put on here. I'm sure CS6 would also work on this computer and probably the Creative Cloud versions as well. However, I'd highly recommend you going to Adobe's website and make sure that the uh, specs of whatever version you'd like to run on this machine um, you know, are actually correct so you can run the latest version. However, I like running some older versions because they work just like the newer versions without any issues. They're just slightly older and they still do what I want. Next to that we have Final Cut Pro, which we have used on this machine. This is a slightly older version of Final Cut Pro, which works a little bit better with this architecture of this computer here. It does handle 720p and 1080p video just fine. We've never tried 4K, however, we don't really like the higher definition as it takes up much more space. Next to that we can find Office. Here is Word, for example, and this is all Office 2016, the most up-to-date version. It runs on this computer absolutely fine. You can see we bring up, get a blank document, and create it. May take a second to think, but there we go, and we're up and ready to type. So we'll go ahead and quit Word. Obviously Excel also works as well. Next to that we have some uh, clients, uh, that's for programming in Python, I believe, and Minecraft. Uh, yes, Minecraft does run on this machine without any problems. Just don't expect too much out of it. So, you know, set the, um, you know, quality settings to reasonable, you know, amounts, you know, not anything too dramatic. And it'll run absolutely fine on this computer. We use it quite a bit for that when we um, play together. And here's some of the other applications that are also installed on this computer. And they all have been used at least once. Um, some of them I've put on and some of them my friends have put on. But they all work just fine. Some of them are older versions, um, such as Logic Pro 10 here, and again, older, but they run just fine without any issues. So they work a little bit better on this older computer. But again, all of these applications run on here without any problems at all. We've thrown a lot at this computer through being here at college, and now that we've graduated, we're definitely going to take this thing with us to wherever our next adventure takes us.
Anyway, this computer has been fantastic and still works great to this very day. I really do hope you enjoyed this video, and also please comment, rate, and subscribe. And thank you very much for watching.